So what's going on everybody, it's J.A. Welcome back to the only daily sneaker news show here on YouTube. Now today, we got a good one for Jordan brand fans as it looks like we got a first look at one of next year's most highly anticipated releases, plus some very important 2025 updates you're not gonna wanna miss. Plus, people always talk about the bad stories about StockX, well it looks like this go around. I'm gonna be sharing a customer's bad experience with GOAT and I'm gonna be very curious to see if you guys have shared any similar experiences. So guys, if you enjoy these updates, make Make sure you hit the like button down below is very important if you're new here be sure to subscribe and to begin let's go ahead and start with some quick updates now first up we got nike which has just renewed their partnership with the nba for an additional 12 years so as far as this deal right here this would make nike the exclusive jersey manufacturers up until 2037 now of course with this deal the last go around nike reportedly spent over one billion dollars for this deal so i would imagine that as far as this time around they probably had to dish out a pretty penny for the exclusive rights for this partnership. So let's go ahead and see what Nike's new CEO, Elliot Hill, has to say about the deal. For the last 50 years, 50 plus years, Nike's been uh, very much about putting the athlete at the center of the conversation. And that helps drive innovation around product and storytelling, etc. cetera. Um, so we'll continue to do, to do that. Nike's always been about uh, growth and um, growing sport around the world and we do that we grow the industry we make the industry bigger and, and we'll continue to do that so i'm not even gonna lie he's saying all the right things right here this sounds really good but of course actions speak louder than words and right now nike you're on the clock but it seems like they got the right foundation going in how many of y'all are old enough to remember back in the day when champion used to actually make the nba jerseys i feel like those joints were goaded even adidas had a small little run but it looks like things are now back with nike once again and speaking of adidas it looks like they're teaming up once again with cincinnati based sneaker boutique unheard of for another rivalry which if you guys recall their last collab was on a rivalry called the grandma's couch which was a release that gained a lot of notoriety here in the sneaker world you know due to its storytelling the marketing the rollout and everything behind the release which they're back again with another rivalry but as far as the inspiration behind this design it happens to be the john a roebling bridge which apparently is some type of big landmark out that way which i really couldn't tell y'all anything about but you definitely do see the design inspiration you know all the way down to the details in the bricks as well as the colorway now as far as the storytelling behind this release apparently it's supposed to be centered around community Community. And as far as this drop right here, these joints are extremely limited down to just 1,000 pairs, which apparently all proceeds will be donated to the Children's Home of Cincinnati. So if you guys are interested in checking these out, be on the lookout for these as they will be releasing exclusively through Unheard Of coming up here October 25th. Now, we also got another collaboration from New Balance, which they're teaming up with This Is Never That, a Korean fashion label, which teams up with New Balance, you know, from time to time here. This time, they have a new colorway of the 1,000 which shares that similar metallic Y2K type of vibe but with a little hint of pop of color with that little orange vibe going on right here. So these joints ain't too bad but just another example of how New Balance effectively utilizes their collaborations in order to push their new models or their re-releases such as the 1000. So of course we know all year New Balance has pretty much been flooding the market with 1906 collaborations even still but Recently, they have added some new models into the mix, such as the 860 V2. We see the 740 as well as the 1000 here. So as far as release details, they are currently unknown as well as the pricing, but be on the lookout as these are planned to drop sometime here in 2024. And with those quick updates out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into our main stories, which first off, we gotta give props to Z Sneakerheads and the team over there who have been continuing to keep the hype rolling. It looks like we got another 2025 Jordan brand leak, which I'm not sure if we heard of this one before just because it's so tough to keep up with all these 2025 leaks but apparently we're gonna see the Jordan 3 Pure Money a release which originally dropped back in 2007 releasing coming up fall of 2025 now as far as this pair right here anytime you got a favorable colorway that hasn't dropped in a long time you already know Jordan brand fans are gonna be happy to see it and I would say as far as this pair right here these joints are super dope and I'm really excited to see these come back really nothing bad to say about these at all as far as the details you pretty much got an all white pair of jordan threes some slight like faint 
cement print as well as some details with the cement print on the laces and everything like that so really nothing bad to say about these joints but definitely a great one you know to look forward to in 2025 now speaking of the pure money you pretty much got the opposite counterpart in the black cat threes a release we already knew about but now we actually have some official images which were pulled from like the back end of some retailer servers now these are scheduled to drop like top of 2025 and as far as this pair right here these joints pretty much look exactly as i remember them back in like 2007 i never had a pair of either of these but just a, always a release that i admired like just seeing people rocking them on feet or whatever so this is a good one you know i did say that the patent leather was kind of a turn off for me i would say but regardless i'm definitely happy to see both of these pairs dropping so out of the pure money or these black cat threes let me know which ones you guys are rocking with for the personal if you could only pick one like for me you know why both are really dope i would say probably the pure money you know would be my pick out of the two now the big one that we got is a first look at the upcoming jordan one union collaboration which as far as this one right here it seems like the internet is kind of divided based off the first impressions but as far as union like back in 2018 when they first dropped these jordan ones their take you know it was a hit back then so essentially what they did was like they took two different jordan brand colorways of the jordan one combined them together with a little stitching in the middle some little slight distressing as well as some exaggerated proportions on there and they were a smash hit like kind of out the gate i would say you know they were reselling for a lot but they just skyrocketed like crazy within just a short amount of time and have held their value pretty much over time so since then you know union has dropped several different pro high profile collaborations with nike and jordan brand and i feel like it really pushing the boundary as far as designs like giving us something new and refreshing but it seems like jordan brand nike fans they really responded negatively to them like putting out different new stuff and it seems like what most people just want to see is more colorways of those jordan ones from 2018 so it seems like they're listening they're giving the people what they want and here we go with the first look right here which as y'all see what's going on right here i don't really know what it is there's just something about these that's just kind of throwing me off i don't know if it's due to like this specific pair featured in these images but something about the shape is just kind of off on here i'm not a fan of the choice of color that they use on the stitching or whatever but what i'm hoping for you know i'm not trying to be negative or sound like a hater or anything like that but what i'm hoping for is that these joints are a hit i hope you guys really rock with them and resale prices go crazy because as far as the last union release i knocked one of y'all over the head for like two grand for them joints right there which i'm not a reseller by the way but i happened to acquire one of those pairs and you know couldn't resist flipping them joints for two grand so my final outcome for this release while i know right now people's opinions are kind of divided on everything as far as the first impressions for this release but what i'm hoping for is that these are a huge hit resale prices go crazy i'm able to grab a pair for retail and once again knock one of y'all over their head for a crazy price and then lastly before we bounce i did want to share this last story which we always hear these nightmare or negative stories about stock X but I would say we rarely hear anything negatively about Go app. and as far as my personal experience myself I've really never had any bad experiences using the app so I did want to actually highlight this story which I did come across over on Twitter where apparently this individual right here he was looking to purchase a DS brand new pair of Nike SBs this is the orange laser pair which isn't anything like crazy or rare or anything like that but this is a release which dropped back in like 2020 so kind of unique a little different from what's going on with the current scene or whatever but that's not what we're getting into here it's actually about the sneakers because remember i did say that this customer purchased these brand new which are supposed to be dead stock never tried on or anything only for him to receive a pair which not only looks tried on but clearly has some visible scuff marks not only on the toe cap but also on the back heel area so i would say as far as this right here completely unacceptable especially based off the fact that he purchased these sneakers brand new now we do know that the go app does offer returns so could it be the case where maybe a customer just grabbed these joints tried them on wasn't feeling them and sent them back to the go app i'm not really sure but i do know that goat has recently updated their return policy which they've now implemented a restocking fee so for example if this individual who purchased this used pair he wanted to turn these back to go you know he could simply return them but unfortunately he would get hit with that 20 percent restocking fee and who knows maybe goat may not even accept his return maybe they would think he was the one that you know brought these damages just to the sneaker or whatever so as far as the goat app based off my experience as a seller i remember one time they rejected a package of mine due to like the box being damaged or anything something like that so i thought goat was like very meticulous when it comes to their authentication services so as far as them letting a used pair slip through the cracks i feel
feel like that's totally unacceptable and one that they could quickly you know mend this uh issue or whatever so this is a story which i'll be following up on to see the outcome and everything like that but as far as the goat app i'm just really curious to know if you guys have ever shared any similar experiences because as i mentioned previously i rarely ever hear anything about the goat app and i'm always hearing the negative stories you know attached to StockX. so let me know down below if you guys have ever had any bad experiences such as this so before we bounce guys i did mention yesterday that i got a big announcement so i'm excited to let you guys know that i'm going to be bringing back a new podcast to the scene which is going to be called the sold out podcast with ja so tune in tonight guys it's going to be the premiere i will have two co-hosts with you guys so it's going to be live tonight at 9 p.m eastern i expect all of you guys to be here and what we're trying to do here with this podcast i'm not going to talk too much on it but it's just going to be a fun casual type of vibe kicking back with a couple different sneaker heads and as far as the goal here i'm just trying to bring back that sneaker community feeling so again 9 p.m eastern tonight sold out podcast with ja make sure you guys are tuned in so that's it for today of course i will catch you guys later on tonight i want to see everybody tuned in for the live show tonight so in the meantime stay safe stay blessed make sure y'all drop all your feedback down below and as we bounce out of here we're going to take a look at rapper fat joe unboxing the upcoming wu-tang dunks which it looks like he was gifted the special edition pair so let me know if you guys are excited to see those joints as they're scheduled to drop sometime later on this month wu-tang clan ain't nothing to fuck with into the 36 chambers. Shout out to the May. I know you got the original pair, but I've been waiting a long time on these right here. It's that Staten Island honey. See that theory right there? I wonder if that's the Yala for the Yala, you know what I'm saying? But, you know that honey, that honey always works with y'all. Thank you so much. I've been waiting a long time for this. And my list of collection I've never had one of these and I've been looking for it hard Wu-Tang Dunks Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with Wu-Tang for the children Wu-Tang is everything how about that Wu-Tang is everything cash rule everything around me dollar dollar bill y'all